Roman was totally exceptional. Already an established film director, everybody knew him. He was the Roman Polanski. The future was his. For me, um, I was very interested in just telling the facts and finding all the people who were there so they could give first-person accounts to talk about what happened. And I was interested in the case and what happened with the case. The girl in the case and her lawyer went on the Larry King show and the lawyer said uh, something that didn't make sense to me. He said, the day Roman Polanski fled was a sad day for the American judicial system. And I, I just, it didn't make sense that the lawyer for the girl would say that. So I started investigating. He didn't perceive having intercourse with a 13-year-old girl is against the law. The fact of Polanski leaving the country seems to have eclipsed what actually happened to the system of justice. The judge was enjoying the publicity, and he didn't care about what happened to me, and he didn't care about what happened to Polanski. It was very satisfying for me to find the people who were willing to tell the story about what happened behind closed doors with the, ju with the judge that led Polanski to flee. I think he has a full life. He's been married for practically 20 years. He has two kids. He has been making movies and directing theater and opera and what have you. But I think it's unfinished business. He said something on a talk show that, you know, I just like to get it over with for my peace of mind, you know? My position was to be as objective as possible. Um, I think a film is an extension of the filmmaker's personality. It's very hard to find good characters for documentaries. I'm looking for someone now and I'm thinking about Sarkozy because he's so interesting. But I mean, you need someone who's dramatic and uh, speaks their mind and uh, is involved in controversy. You know, you need someone who has something going on, otherwise it's boring. I should tell you, except that I'm innocent. Right. Written Band was known as a hammer. He was a tough sentencer. If you didn't make a deal, you were in trouble. In France, he's desired, and in America, he's wanted.